the trail again and again Hiking and hunting and fishing the land Time is time we'll spend We'll take it to the Delta Welcome to Mississippi Outdoors. I'm Pamela Weaver. I'm Kevin Meacham. Thanks for joining us. In our first story, we go to Sunflower County. It's opening day of dove season and we're headed to the William C. Billy DeVinney Wildlife Management Area. Let's go. first day of dove season so a lot of Mississippi sportsmen really excited to be out and about got some a uh, little bit of cooler weather cooler than the last few dove season openers for sure and uh, looking to looking to have a lot of action here this afternoon it's gonna be an afternoon hunt here on the management area but uh, hunters will be able to spread out over the entire area if they would like or they can hunt the, the sunflower field for doves this afternoon and uh, hopefully have some good action our management area uh, staff have been out on these dove fields to, to manage the sunflowers. They've, they've bush hogged or mowed some strips in the, in the sunflowers to, uh, to scatter some seed. They've left some standing for hunters to be able to, to have some cover uh, to get up against and be able to have a background against them. There's, uh, there's also just some bare areas, uh, some bare dirt areas for doves to come and find clean ground to land on. So they should, be, uh, should have really good habitat conditions on the field. Man, listen, we've been counting down the days. Uh, I'm a huge outdoorsman. Uh, I got my wife here, Monica. It's her first dove hunt, so we're about to come out here and have a good time, hopefully shoot some birds. I mean, it's, it's sunlight, great weather. We go. We're going to shoot some shells. We might not hit anything, but dove, dove meat on the table would be something awesome, don't Absolutely, you think? Absolutely, yeah. A little bacon wrap dove, some stuffed dove tonight. That's, that's what's going to serve that up for sure. Got him. That's two in a row, baby. How long have you been here? Been here since about 12, so I knew I had to bring my lounge chair. Yeah. I never had anybody really take me as a kid, you know, so uh, I, I enjoy watching him shoot just as much as me doing it myself, you know. Now, we do like to shoot birds, but I do have a blast watching him do it, and he loves it probably more than anything else in the woods. It's our first year here. Last year was the Howard Miller opening the day, and it was fantastic. Mama knows you're bringing that grin, baby. That's what your snap bucket ends up being. Your snap bucket ends up being bigger, than, heavier than your shell bucket.
A lot of people out here, there's a lot of doves. We were talking to the game warden up there and he said they had about a thousand this morning they were looking at. But we're gonna stay out here and we're gonna kill some doves today. We come up here this is our third year coming up to the Delta. Second year coming here to Indianola for opening day. This is a lot better than at the house. <laughs> We've been out here since 11 today. We weren't able to start shooting until two. We were walking in the water and then our boots got covered and we couldn't see our boots. There was mud. Like walking with bricks on your feet, right? Yeah. Man, I ain't killed but one. You ain't killed but one. I'm shooting squirrel shells. Shooting squirrel shells? Six shots. All I had. That's it, huh? How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. I got my you license got your on my phone. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That'll do it, man. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks, it. Good luck to you. Yeah, we pulled up at 8 o'clock this morning and there were at least a thousand, a thousand, 1,500 birds on this field. The gravel road was covered, they turned. They were everywhere. The gravel road was slapped full of them. It was on. He's hit. Hey, if you can catch him, you can have him. He's smoking that new shotgun. That's right, smoking that. Out shooting pop off, I might trade guns with him. How much do you have? Uh, just two or three or something. Three or two. Well, we probably tied. A lot of action. Yeah, it is. It's entertaining. I love this little kid over here. He got his first one. Oh, yeah, he was pumped over there. He was. How's your dog working today? Pretty good. Good. This I is gonna... just kill some more. Uh huh. This is gonna be her last year. This her last year. This is probably gonna be her last yeah. year. She's getting old. She's eight, nine. She's eight. Yeah.
move it out. We, we got one bird, but I don't think we killed it. <laughs> in Texas. I come every year to hunt with my buddy David who grew up in Mississippi. And uh, this is the first time I've done a public land hunt here and it was awesome. We limited out. The birds were the birds were really flying well today. Uh, so it's much more so than I really expected with it being so sunny and warm. I kind of thought they'd be slow until this evening but then there were a lot of action. You know I was a little worried there was gonna be too much hunting pressure but that just wasn't the case either. They just kind of fold them back into you and then everybody else get action on the other end. It was, it was awesome. Y'all about got y'all's limit. It's not limited. Uh, you don't have to have a draw to, to come hunt here. You just show up, uh, have your hunting license, a wildlife management area permit, and the harvest information program certification, and you're good to go. Great hunt, good field, a lot of high birds. We got some shooting in all around. Pretty good day. For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors Magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. The magazine contains interesting features such as wildlife photography and soul lunar tables. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive, and when you subscribe, you'll receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874 in our next story, we're headed down to Claiborne County. The outdoors crew is on an alligator hunt on the Mississippi River. Today on Mississippi Outdoors, we're gator hunting on a chute off the Mississippi River. We've been in this chute several times before and uh, seen some quite large alligators and some medium sized ones. And today I've got uh, my granddaughter Katie Pruitt with me. This is her first time to hunt and uh, hunt gators and she's excited. And I've got my friend Randy Walker and my cousin Vance Windham is going to be hunting with us today and we're ready to get started. <laughs> It is incredible the amount of power that those things have. I mean, I hooked up, I hooked the first one and it was about four foot maybe, you know, but a five foot alligator, four foot alligator, it is incredible how much strength they have. It's shocking. So if you've never done it and it's your first time going, all I can say is hang on. <laughs> Alright, he's all the way up there, he's in the middle of the, of the thing. You see one? Yeah. He's all the way up there, he's going across, you can see him going across the, uh, across from which, the, uh, hey, from left to, to right? To right. Oh, to I, to see right. I see him, I see him up there. That's a monster there. That's a good gator too. It's a Ten gator. foot at least, I see him. He's headed that way. Well, you know, this is our third year to uh, do this, and we just thought, we saw, you know, a lot of people on the Mississippi Alligator site and everybody seemed to have a name for their team, so Randy thought it'd be a good, good thing to name it. And after several suggestions, we finally agreed on instigators. And because uh, you know we go out there and we instigate the hunt, and we're hunting for gators, and so had the shirts made up, and it just seemed to work out pretty good. David, I believe right there you got the best opening. Right. I'm gonna try. Let's try. Reel it, reel it, reel it. Oh, 
gonna slow down. He's right in here. That was the best opening right there. We'd been out there in that canal and was looking, you know, trying to get on that big gator, and we decided we was gonna give it a break and just hope that it'd kind of calm down and relax a little bit. So we went on up the canal a little ways and we came up on a boat, uh, had four people on there and we could tell they were tied up into a, a monster gator. And so we started just seeing if we could help and uh, we'd say he had plenty of hooks in him. And, but uh, if he comes in that boat, I'm watching When they were able to get that gator up, we realized that gator was a lot bigger than we thought at first initially. And uh, one of the ladies on the boat, apparently they had gotten a pretty good gator the year before and she wasn't, didn't seem to be happy with this gator. Or she was the biggest gator we had seen. <laughs> Turns out that uh, we were able to help out a little bit because they had forgot their snares and they were trying to get a rope around it. So we gave them one of our snares and uh, that pretty much sealed the deal for them and they were able to secure the gator. Dang, well. He's over 10. Yeah, I knew. And they realized it was bigger than they thought, so they did finally go ahead and dispatch the gator. And we found out later that the gator uh, measured and weighed in. It was 12 foot 6 inches long, weighed 575 pounds. That is a big alligator. This hunt was, was really special to me because my 12-year-old granddaughter, you know, called me and she had started showing a lot of interest in the outdoors and uh, with hunting and she just called me one day and I told her we had gotten drawn and she said that uh, she would like to go try it. Well, we started out with a small gator and as soon as we hooked that gator, we handed the rod to her. And oh, she started, first thing she started hollering is, help me granddad, help me. I said, no baby, this is yours. And uh, so she just, she bowed up on it and she fought it and she was able to play it down. And uh, we caught and released five. We kept uh, two, you know, a, a runt and then the big gator. And I let her dispatch both of them. So that was pretty exciting to her. Look at you do, baby. About the hook off? Yeah. That's right. good. We got more. Hey, good job. Your right. first alligator. First alligator. That's a girl. All right, now get him in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't every day a kid gets a few alligators. Well, for the last two hours, we've been on a big one. Uh, we knew he was in here, and we're estimating he's somewhere around 13 feet, but we stayed on him for about two hours, cast several times, could never make it happen, and came up and helped some people uh, that left their snares home, got them a 12-6, and uh, we come on in, and Katie just got her first runt gator, and she dispatched it just like she's supposed to, and she's ready for some gator sausage. <laughs> so what's the plan now? plan now is to go back and cook some steaks and eat some shrimp and rest a little bit and then we're going to come back and hit them again. smell them. All right, we're going for the one out in the middle. We're going up on the bank. Keep it on him. 
I've never seen that before. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's just let him come up. Let's yeah. just be patient. Let's be patient. Mm -hmm. He's sitting on the bottom. How big is he? He's I'm eight, nine, nine foot. foot. Okay. He's probably a nine foot. No, please. Oh, yeah, it's all fine. There, there he is. There you go. Please, please. I got him. All right, I got him. Push I'm off. That's what I said. I'm on. Are you off? I say I it was you. meant to be for us to catch this gator because um, the uh, guy was trying to get the motor up and as he got the motor up, the gator comes to the top of the water, but the corner of his boat hits the line. Well, Randy's on deck and he's casting as that gator comes up. When the uh, film boat hit the line, that hook come out. I hooked about the exact same time that first line yeah. came out. So it was just a tit for tat, you know, right there. Otherwise, that gator would have been adios. But uh, we got that line in him, and then uh, we actually were able to get two more on him then, and then it was just a matter of wearing him out. You got him. That's both of y'all. Okay, good. <sighs> Get on him, on him. He's hooked. Is he getting under the boat? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get a new plan of tail. That's all okay. I'll get a little bit closer. Uh, oh, you, you want it around the head if you can get it You're around right. the head. Just wait. He's going to wear out. He got three lines on him. It's just a waiting game now. Here he comes. Look at him. I got it. Oh. Gator hunting's hard. You think you just go out there and cast and catch and you know when you see it on TV it's just uh, seems to be a lot easier but uh, gator hunting is extremely hard it's dangerous you got to be careful with it yeah you need to move any better than that right there just back up bro that's your gator that's good that's good Yeah, I'm ready. Yep, yep. Woo, got him. You have to make sure he's down. I like gator hunting because it is the closest you'll ever be to a dinosaur in our lifetime. I mean, those are some old animals. They're, they're smart and they're just wicked looking. Instigators. Oh, I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I think the future of gator hunting in Mississippi is is bright. Um, I think what the system they've got in place is a great system. Um, you know, the, it's just it's just a lot of fun. Now wrap that rope around him like you want it. I got him. Can you pick him up? Uh, there you go. That's the gator. Uh, that's your gator. That's a lot of rope. Let's just, uh, it was a fight. What we've been through this week, it was worth it. Hey, that's all the time we have for this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Pamela Weaver. And I'm Kevin Meacham. See, See you outdoors. outdoors.